Boy, was I glad to see you. That's a goddamn understatement. <laughs> when was the last time somebody told you that? 30 years ago, right? <laughs> okay, that hill, I don't know what you're used to on gravel rides. That hill was fucking insane. I mean, if you're trying to get, if you're trying to keep your feet in the pedals like me and not get off for even a second, because if you get off a second and restart, that changes everything. But when you're exhausted and you gotta find a way to get up that 50% for like 10 pedal strokes. Off the saddle and just keep pedals going. That's it. That's it. That's how I do it. You walk the saddle and just keep the fucking pedals turning. Nice, Ken. Nice, buddy. Nice. Oh, you got some experience? Of course. Yeah. Of course you do. No, no, no. I'm good behind you. I like having a camera. I got too many films of me alone. It's just fun having somebody in the picture with us. Still can't get over that friggin' climb. Holy shit, Ken. And I'm like, I mean, it's real, I mean, it's a really fun. I mean, Ken, that's the hardest around. That's like that fucking Bangor climb, but in the woods. I'm yeah. telling you. No, he didn't know you go. Uh, I don't know. He goes, oh, the, 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 the gravel bikes do it. He said they do it. He says, the well, I guess they could get up, but I'm thinking, you know, the gravel bikes are a couple pounds lighter than this. They get decent tires. It's just a matter, you know, being able to keep the traction like I described, and those guys can do that with experience. And then it's just a matter of being able to keep the fucking pedals going. Because yeah. <laughs> it just, it doesn't give up. And I was starting to push at times. I said, Bob, Bob, you're going to have to clip out if you don't slow down. <laughs> you're going to come around the bend, and you're not going to be able to make the green. So I kept trying to back off, and I got to a spot where I'm like, how, how can I get up this fucker? I said, how am I going to get up? Yeah, that was two miles for sure. But I'm thinking, Ken's friend fucked him. I went out, like, my first year of mountain biking, I went out way out the high bridge to do a trail, and I didn't know that trails close when it's slush, slushy, so you don't damage the soil. And I was on a guy's trail, and he had it all blocked off like a, a crime scene. And I went in there anyway, because I, so, I drove 60 miles to get there. And he caught me. And it was a nice conversation. I was on the fat bike, so I wasn't making the, the trails too bad. But he told me about Round Valley, and he fucked me. <laughs> Talk about the grade, Ken, 200 feet per mile. And it's an out and back. Once you get out there, you can't, you can't continue. You gotta turn around. Oh, what a friggin' great experience. <laughs> so happy I came. Yeah, you definitely got some skills, Ken. Definitely. The club couldn't do any of this stuff. Yeah, so to answer your question about why I didn't wait a little clear, I kept thinking the hill was gonna stop at the next bend. That was my that was my first thought. And then I kept telling myself, well, it's gonna gotta end soon because it we're going too steep. <laughs> and then I got to the point where I said, I want to clean this fucker, I'm gonna keep going. See this 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 where my wide handle, yeah, so this is actually perfect because that would be a swamp. If we weren't near drought, we just, everything was perfect for this ride. And the rain we've been getting lately has only been little showers, which is actually good to keep the trail from drying up too much. So trails like this right here, a lot of the gravel routes are on stuff like this. Okay, yeah, that's nice then. Yeah, that's, that's good. It's not boring in other words, it keeps it challenging.
Lincoln Landings up in the uh, Minnewaska area. Told me about this ride. I, I teased on the, the, when you posted the ride on the, club, the bike site. You know, in two weeks I'll be coming. And then he texted me and said, bring your mountain, bring your fat bike. Hey, bring your fat bike. And I'm like, with real, I said, better yet, I'll bring my hardtail, you know, my cross country bike. And here I am, like the last minute I came out. Why am I showing off course? What are these called, these old bushes here? They're, they're cool, yeah. You don't get that back in Bergen County. Oh, do we? Okay. Yep. Yeah, so it's called Ramapo Lake, right, you know, off of Skyline Drive. It's just, it's just like out there. You think you're in a different country. Hello. You two look like twins. <laughs> From the back, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> See, we would try and ride out there as much as we can. <laughs> you ever hear of Jeff Lenoski? Yeah. Yeah, he, he had to ride it. He rode all the ledges up there. Him and his buddy Lance. They're the best in the country. Yeah, he's crazy. I mean, what he can do is a phenomenal. He's like 6'6". Six, six. No, he's like 6'6". Six, six. He's big. No elevation up here. Well, no, he's got to ride up here next week. Next week? For tomorrow or something. The Shokin Rail Trail. It's flat. All right. By the Shokin Reservoir. He comes up here two hours up here to do a 30 mile ride. <laughs> if you do no gas, it's five hours down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You get into that peanut butter mug, it's like yeah. unbelievable. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know what that's about. Oh yeah, that's nice, a rock ledge. That's a mountain ledge, wow. That's nice. I've never been on Minnewaska Trails, ever. I haven't come up here for a never. There's another park I went cross country skiing over by Poughkeepsie. Get it to deer, yeah. I got 22 miles. I got a sensor on my tire. Well, 
Do you have a sensor on your tire? Because you lose 10% with all these turns, literally. Yeah. Well, with the hills, that's got to be tough, you know, going down too. I'm not that good on cross-country skis. 